Hi and welcome to this video cast about setting up UnoDB cluster using Windows Installer within minutes. This is solely for testing purpose and should not be used as a production deployment. First you need to download the MySQL Installer. Here we go, right click and start the installation. Uh, accept the license agreement. Select custom setup type. Select MySQL server. And MySQL shell and router from applications. Click on next and execute. As you can see, the installation has started for server, shell and router. These are the logs. The server setup is complete. Now the shell setup is going on. Now the shell setup is done, router setup is done. Now we'll configure the server and the router. Select sandbox in ODB cluster setup. Provide a root password. We have selected three MySQL server sandbox instances for our example. Keep the default authentication method as it is. Click on execute. Now, as you can see, sandbox instance is deployed in port 3310. Now, the deploy sandbox instance is happening on port 3320. And finally, in the port 3330. Sandbox instances deployed successfully, and now they are added to the InnoDB cluster. All instances are now online. Cluster is now ready. Now we'll configure the router. We have to provide the root password. As you see, we have a read-write node for classic MySQL protocol that is 6446 and read-only node as 6447. Similarly, for X plugin, we have 6448 and 6449. As you see, the router configuration also is now complete. So now we will test the high availability feature of the MySQL NDB cluster. That is failover scenario also will cover. This is the shell window. We are now connecting to the router port. That is 6446. We have to provide the root password.
switch to SQL mode and issue the select at the rate of port command to see which port is connected to the router, which, pri which primary node. So as you see, it is 3310 because the primary node of the NODB cluster is 3310. What we can do now is we can go to task manager, select the 3310 port or the server running in the 3310 port, kill it intentionally to see the failover scenario. As you see, now we have killed the MySQL DEXE running in the 3310 port. Again, go back to the shell prompt and issue the same command again, select at the rate of port to see the background port which is running. As you see, it is trying to attempt to connect, again issue the command. Now you see it is 3320. So it is highly available. Failover is also supported. This is all about in ODB class.